This is Mama, Mommy Mizrahi and today I'm going to teach you how to make a roast chicken with potatoes. First I'm going to start with the potatoes and get them in the bottom of the foil lined pan. Okay. I've washed the rest of potatoes really well, scrubbed all the dirt off, and I'm going to cut them in slices. I'm going to leave the skin on for a little extra vitamins. For your potatoes, you might want to put oh, one potato for every person or person and a half. So you can gauge how many you need to put in. Okay, we've got all our potatoes in the pan now. I'm going to take a little olive oil, EVOO as Rachel Ray says, pour a little bit on the potatoes. Mix them up so everything gets coated with the oil. And then my favorite spices, a little salt, and a little pepper, and some granulated garlic. If you don't have granulated garlic, you can you put, put some fresh garlic in. That's always yummy. You need to put some onions in here. You could put some carrots in here. Today I'm just going to move potatoes. Cut it all mixed up. And now it's at the bottom of the pan and ready for the chicken. Okay, our chicken came in a bag. I'm going to take it out of the bag. I've got it in the sink. Take it out. Now it's time to wash the chicken. Remember, you have to wash the chicken really thoroughly. You're going to wash it though with cold water, not hot water, and no soap, but you do want to wash your chicken very thoroughly. First thing you have to do is reach inside your chicken and pull out all the stuff that's in, that they package inside. That's your gizzards, your liver, the neck, a little extra fat. Take it all out, then run your water inside, put your hand in there, you got to get it inside, and really just scrub it out with your hands, making sure you get out any dirt, any extra stuff. And you're going to wash around the outside of your chicken. Okay, this is a really clean chicken, there's no, I don't see any extra, um, feathers on it or anything. It's a really nice chicken. Although I am going to take a, a knife and I'm going to cut off the rear end just because I don't really need that on there. And it just doesn't, it's just going to add on extra fat. You can cut off the extra fat around the opening into the carcass. Like that. If you're going to stuff the chicken, you would leave that on. But we're doing potatoes and chicken, not stuffed chicken. Okay, your chicken is really well done. It's really well washed now. Extra little rinse just to make sure. Shake off the extra water. Okay, now I'm going to put it in my pan. I'm going to put it upside down, breast side down first. I'm going to grab this paper towel, dry my hand off a little bit. And actually before I go on to do the um, the spices, I'm going to turn it on some hot water and use soap and hot water on my hands to wash off any of the chicken stuff that got on it. But I want to make sure that I'm not carrying any bacteria around my kitchen. And I'm even going to use paper towels, not the regular towel, because I don't want to get any bacteria on my regular towels, because it could just transfer to other foods. Okay, I'm going to go grab my favorite spices again. 
my olive oil, my pepper, my salt and my garlic. Gonna pour some oil over the chicken, spread it around. Grab my paper towel again. Take on some salt. Some pepper. Granulated garlic. And flip that baby over. Again, put a little oil. The oil will help um, hold your spices on in. As it cooks, it's going to help brown the chicken. It'll make the, the skin a little bit crispier. Rub it all over. And you're going to wash the pans a little bit. <coughs> Dry it off. Some salt. pepper, the garlic, garlic's good, okay, and I'm going to wrap it up really tight, this is the foil method of, of, of cooking, and it cooks the chicken really fast, in fact we're going to cook it at a really high heat, in the states we cook it at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, that's equivalent to 230 degrees Celsius. Wrap your foil really tight around it so none of those juices leak out. And it keeps all the feet in. This is about a five pound chicken, which is an average size for a cooking chicken, for roasting chicken. It's all sealed up nice. I'm going to put it in the oven. And I'm going to cook it for about an hour and 45 minutes. I'm not going to open it up at all. And at the end of hour 45 minutes, we'll see how nice it looks. See ya. Okay, I'm going to stick it in the oven in the, on, around the middle rack. Um, one ingredient I forgot to mention, but I hope you saw it, is whenever you're cooking, don't forget the love. Hi. While the chicken's cooking, I want to give a really short lesson on cleaning up after you're working with raw chicken. Like I said, you're not going to want to use the um, sponge or the towel that you normally use for things because that would just transfer the bacteria, keep the bacteria in. So you're going to use paper towels and use heat, the hot water, about as hot as you can out. <laughs> as hot as you can stand it. That was a little too hot. And you're going to put it on your sink, get your towels wet, put lots of soap on it, and with the hot water and the paper towel, Scrub down your sink and any other surface that you had the chicken on. You really wash it down well because you don't want to contaminate any other dishes or utensils later on. Okay, it's been an hour and 45 minutes. Now the moment of truth. brown because it's been covered you can always put it back in the oven opened up and brown it with the broil the top burner on and then just crisp it up if you want to but I can tell that it's nice and well done you see that the um, legs separated from the from the breast the breast is really juicy lots of juices in the potatoes and um, it's ready to take out and slice Enjoy.